Hi. Um, so I decided it was easier for me to show rather than write how it would be better to do. You can see one is already applied over here. It does have still a little bit of some creasing, but it's not as uh, but it's not as big as I saw on the pictures. I don't know whether the helmet is bigger, whether this is the right shape of the helmet. If the helmet is smaller, you will still have a little bit of more creasing because these stickers are a little bit too big to be bent even more because the middle should be stretched bigger than, than the outside and um, you would need a heat gun for the stick for the vinyl to shrink. If you have a heat gun, you can try, but I don't have one here. I have a hairdryer to work with to make the sticker a little bit more stretchy and a little bit more wo workable with. Um, if you do have a heat gun and if you put it on um, and if you have a crease, if you have a um, bended bit that has not yet attached to the surface, if you put on the heat, it should shrink together to fit the surface so the crease would disappear. But you do have to try it out um, and do be careful I don't know what the helmets are made of um, I'm guessing the regular hard plastic material but you never know how the paint or the helmet or the material itself might react to the heat gun so either you have to try whether it would shrink on properly for that size um, on a separate helmet or maybe try to find a bowl or a vase or something that's similar shape. The best one I could find was this one. I did get this, which I'm guessing is a little bit more the right size, but it has the flat top. And I did get a creasing where I applied it earlier, but I had to take it off, where it actually bent around the line here because it goes curved and then it goes into flat so where it where it went where the sticker itself bent it, there was a bigger creasing that I was not able to fix on um, on um, on a sticker and that did not look very good but I will show how to put this one on the bowl on this bowl that one you can do because you see this dog is smaller a little than the actual skull and you can kind of cut in to make the wording wrap differently so i'll show that in a minute but at first i'll start with the skull how i put it on here <sighs> make sure it's all nice and clean um i used this which is water with a little bit of fairy liquid in it just a couple of drops on about a half a bottle is okay and then just towels kitchen towels to clean it off so um this is the sticker the first thing to do is make sure the surface is clean um and I also like to use some of this to make sure the fingers are not too... Oh, that fell down, ran away. Um, to make sure the fingers are not too greasy because you will have to touch a little bit back of the stick. You will have to touch back of the sticker as well. And um, don't use gloves, they'll just stick to it. But try to make sure your hands are as clean as possible. And um, if you use one of the sanitizers, it kind of take, it kind of 
and greases the fingers as well a bit. Not not all of them, but some of them do. Okay, so you choose a spot where you want to put it. I have to do it a little bit of backwards, so um, I'll try to get the best angle. First thing to do is um, get the backing off from about a half a sticker. Let's do that way. Okay, full sticker. That'll be easier. Take it off from the whole sticker. Try to decide where you want to place it, and then you can either start from the bottom or the top. I started from the middle. I'll put it up here. Started from the middle to attach it, and then stretched it a little bit to the side, so it kind of fits on like that. And as you can see, the bottom and the top are still free of the sticker. So next thing to do is try to hold this up. Take, take the hair dryer. I have it on a highest setting, but the middle one is okay. And on number one, because you don't want to blow everything around in the house. Heat it up for a couple of minutes, minutes to two. Um, try not to touch the back of the sticker yet. If you do, just try to hold the application tape so the sticker stays up like that. I'm holding it here where the application tape is. Try to do that. If you touch the sticker as little as possible, that's best. But if you do touch it, um, just not, try not to do it too much. Otherwise, you'll get grease from the fingers on it. So the next bit is, I'll take off the application tape from here, so we could work with the vinyl itself. Okay, oh, it already wants to go back. So, gonna take from the sides here, I'm gonna stretch it on, okay, and then kind of and then from the sides, you kind of start to feel where it wants to go when you've done it a couple of times. You still might have a couple of little creases, but it won't be as bad. <laughs> okay, so try to stretch it on like that. Okay, and now the top bit as well. If it's a little bit cold or you feel that it's not stretchy anymore enough, you can apply a little bit more heat and then kind of try to stretch it on a bit like that. Okay. And then okay. So So this is the way to do it. Okay. 
and then you see it's fairly nice and has no creases in it maybe one here in the corner but you do have to be careful when you stretch it on because if you stretch it too much I have here it just the regular black one if you stretch it too much you can take it off like that though if you put it on in the middle like that you put it on and then if you kind of stretch it too much you'll see that it breaks off you stretch the vinyl too much it will break so you have to be a little bit careful if you heat it up the vinyl will, will work a little bit better if you heat it up it is a bit more flexible and it will work a little bit better with you and you can stretch it but don't stretch it too much otherwise it will break if you want to if you want to stretch it too much it will start to break so be careful with that it is it is plastic so you can stretch it it's just make sure it's not too much as you can see on here have to make sure I think I stretched okay we can't put these on at all so these don't want to stick sometimes okay if you see that it really doesn't want to stick on in a corner like here you can kind of lift it up a little bit and kind of stretch it on a little bit more but you have to be careful because if you lift it up too much or try to stretch it too much while lifting it just will stretch a little bit more So basically, it's not so hard to do, you just have to be patient, it does take a little bit of practice and if you heat up the vinyl uh, for a minute or two, you can also heat it up while it's still with the application tape, but um, it might be, it might um, not be hot enough when you actually get it on a on the uh, on a surface so i'm um, actually my second one is far better than the first one you might have a little bit of places somewhere here in the corners where they don't quite want to um when they when where they have been a little bit kind of bent where they where they are a little bit off but the, the biggest creases are off Okay, so I'll show you the second one now. Okay, the second one. The little bowl, of course, make sure it's nice and clean. And a dog sticker. So you will need a little bit of scissors. Kind of cut it in from one side and the other side. So this makes sure when it's bent, it can overlap. So none of the parts are affected then. This bit doesn't need any heat, it will apply perfectly normally. So you can just start with the bottom bit and then just work your way up. And then was you just have to kind of feel through, which is the best way because each design wants to um, will stretch easier one way or the other way. You kind of have to be careful with that. 
Okay. So we start with the bottom bit. If you don't feel very sure, you can use this and just put it back on. So you don't touch the dog too much, but you still have possibility to work with the bottom bit. Or you can just cut it off and put the dog separately on. That's up to you. So you line it up where you want it to be. Nice. And like that. And then I'll have my dog around here. So it will be bent like, will be bent roughly like that. Like that. See, this way works better. You kind of have to work with it a little bit to see what would be the best fit and how it would work better. So I can take it out from the back now. Ooh. Careful. Gonna do it here in the middle and bend it there. Okay. That is all done. Okay, let's work with the head. Try to get sticker off from the application tape for a little bit here. Okay, have the dog halfway on, halfway off. Now it's time for the letters. So, oh, this is nice on. Put this away. So, oh, it doesn't want to be on. This one works. So this way it works really good. And then you kind of put on the head. And you work your way from one side to another. Ooh. You can see the creases here starting to turn so you kind of lift it up a little bit and then pull it back down oh I don't think this will work so like I said, it is a little bit of practice which way, which sticker wants to go. I haven't done a dog yet, so I'm sorry if I'm making any mistakes. Oh, okay. So this would be the best. And it also is a bit tricky because the bend here on the line is fairly big. So I have to think on how it will bend as well. Hopefully you can see. <laughs> this is a bit tricky to do. Okay. So this is not perfect, but you do have to try which way is the best, how we want to bend, and things like that. 
again the helmet is really nice and smooth but because I had to go around here and I haven't done the dog yet so this is a little bit of practice for me as well but I just wanted to show that it is possible to do it even on a smaller scale as well so if the skull doesn't want to go on properly um, even after a couple attempts uh, it would be the best to have a different size because it might be just too big for it to be able to bend like that okay, I think I stretched it a little bit too much so practice makes perfect so next time out now I just have to do a little bit less stretching. You can see that there are lines here. But it is doable. You just have to get used to it and how to do it. Like this was the bit that I didn't want to go on. So I have to work on it this bit first and then think how to stretch this rather than stretching this and then doing this. So this goes on first, so I, next time I can do cut off the text, apply it separately because that's fairly easy. And then do the top bit here and then bend it down or maybe align the dog so it would have less bend rather than more. So you do have to try it a little bit how it's the best way to do it. You ca uh, This was without heating up too much you can heat it up the same as we did before on the first one it will be a bit more bendy then it's easier to work with so i hope this was useful and if you have any more questions just let me know and i'll be glad to help